I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial of how to draw the perfectest eye that you can. Uh, so yeah. So this is how you draw an eye. First, you draw the base. Just draw the first. Okay, let me show you. And this is the first base. And then you do this. And then put it like this. And then you put a circle in the middle. You shade it in. Simple as that. This is actually how I really draw my eyes. Really simple, but you can really get a good base. And then you put a big circle like this. I'm just pulling it. And then you put a shade. Like all around. All around. It's kind of cool. This is actually really cool to do because, yeah, especially the sound just really frisks me out. I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of art videos and if. Um, and different artists draw different kind of ways, eyes, like, they, if I'm drawing like this, they draw eyes really good, like this, same, but in another way, so just don't confuse yourself, okay? Like that, shade it in, really cool, right? But don't get in this one, don't shade out. Okay, that, would, that is what it's going to make way realistic. See? And shade. A little more right there. Just follow me, guys. Trust me, this is going to be really good. There you go. And you just shade this whole part with butts. So let me go get butts. And then you also have to shade it like this. A little more thicker right here. So, yeah. And then you just shade it in like that. Like that. Here you go, thing. But I promise, but I promise, it's a real good. Your effort, and your butts and all, it will be a perfect one. And make it really thick right here. Don't just shake. Make it really thick. And yeah, because you have to spread it all around. Come on. It should be really thick. Spread it. See? Shape. But make sure to shape all that shape in the effort. There we go. Like that, right? Now the eye. And you also do like this pointy right here. Like that. The whole thing. And then you just tip it off. And just go in here. And just go here. There you go. Shade it in. Like that. Shade it all the way. Simple as that. And then you draw like these little lines like right here. Yes. Lines. I'm saying it correctly. Lines. And like that. There. 
like this. And then you have your Q-tip. And then, like, you know, wash it. Like, rub it. Makes, like, it just rubs it. Oh. Well, it makes it look like some, like, you know, little stuff that. Here, I'll show it to you when I'm done. Shake that. Now, where's the pencil? Now we're going to draw eyebrows. Start right there. Draw lines. Draw lines. Like that. Where's the razor? Where's the razor? Dump my old pouch. <gasps> oh. I didn't realize there was that much just in my pouch. Really. By the way, you did such a start for me. There. Now, you take your Q-tips and rub it in. We'll just make your eyelashes feel stuff for eyebrows and stuff for yeah. There we go. And then also put eyelashes Can we get these? And then you have an eye. Easy as that. If you want, you can add more strips like this, but not too much, of course. And rub them. You make an eye. Also, the ones who are wondering how to go. Cute eye. It's easy. That. This. That. And shade it in. the whole thing. And if you color this whole thing like that, it will be like adorable eye. And that will be the adorable mission. You can even cut this and do the adorable mission. I can, if you want, I can rip this part and do an adorable mission. Here. I'm literally going to rip this and do the adorable mission. Oh, I'm only gonna rub this. You'll see. See? Hold on. The new, the new, new, adorable mission comes right away. Oof. Yeah, and I do feel kind of like horny for making my eye painting, but yes. Every artist can do this. If they're a true artist, they can do their art. If they're a real artist. This.
Oh wait, just cut this part. He's the adorable version. That's a normal eye, and now it's this eye. Okay, I'll work on this later and then do it because right now we're gonna do the orange craft that I was talking about later. I don't know if you guys saw that video before. Bunch of sheets. Okay, take one sheet. And also, I have to clean my pouch. Uh, oh, duh. I have to clean off this after this. Clean this place after all this. Where's my pile? I'll put all of these in my pile just in case. I have to like mark these equal sides and then cut these like that. So, yep. Now I like fold one of these papers in half like this. Like this. I'm going to double these. Three, two, one. Ah, so many hearts. Really cool. And by the way, you need like four hearts okay and you'll have two rain sheets you'll just keep it for later kind of cool hearts but this one's a little small so i'll make an extra one this one is kind of weird so i'll make an extra one the first one that i already made well it's kind of bad so i'll just make it for later. <sighs> but it's really easy to make them there we go. Let's structure. 